Save your receipts. That is the advice from the Department of Revenue when you go back to school shopping. There are tax benefits to help families save money on the basics. And Mary McGuire is here with more on what parents need to know before the start uh, heading back to class this fall. Yeah, hard to believe it's that time of year again. From backpacks to books, things can add up fast when you're back to school shopping with your kids. But there are ways to save on the back end. Before school starts this fall, Minnesota's Revenue Commissioner is reminding parents of the ways they can save. The state tax code allows for two perks to save on school supplies through a refundable credit and a subtraction, which essentially works like a tax deduction. That portion of the tax code applies to a broad variety of items. Anything on that required school supply list, from pens and paper to notebooks, um, again, like graphing calculators, other electronics, uh, you can use it if you need a computer for your family. There is a, an, a, an, a limit on how much of that computer you can use as a part of this credit or subtraction. The credit is for families with one to two kids with a household income of $37,500 or less, $39,500 for three kids and $2,000 for each additional child. There are no income limits for the subtraction. The National Retail Federation estimates the average family will spend nearly $320 on school supplies and electronics. That is just the base number with clothes, new shoes, haircuts, all those things. The final total can ring in to be a lot more. I know it was when I was in school. Oh, yes, it does add up quickly. Now, the tax benefit doesn't just apply to physical school supplies, though. That's right. It also applies to summer camps taught by qualified instructors, a music camp, music lessons, or the cost to rent an instrument. So that's an interesting part of it. Obviously, important to save whenever you can. Yeah, I had no idea those benefits were there. Mary, thank you. Yep.